Well, we were a little bit older when we started trying to get pregnant. And uh, we tried the usual method for a while and that didn't work. So then we went to see a doctor and we were referred to various different specialists. We, I ended up having some procedures done which didn't seem to help. Then I went through in vitro fertilization and that didn't work either, it just cost us a lot of money. Then I heard about a Chinese doctor in Guelph who practices Chinese medicine and herbal medicine and acupuncture. So we started going to see him and within a few months I was pregnant. So Simon is an only child and how was that? Well, it wasn't what we planned, it just is what happened. We planned to have as many kids as, as we could, I guess, and uh, we had three miscarriages and one child. So we have Simon, our one child. And uh, people think that an only child is a lonely child. I know my father used to say that. But he seems to spend, like to spend a lot of time by himself, in the basement, doing his own thing. So I'm very glad that he doesn't appear to be a lonely child. He has lots of friends too. And uh, when Simon was about four, he asked us to get a dog. Well, we had no intention of getting a dog, but we thought about it and, and we agreed, okay, we're not gonna have another child, so maybe the dog. A dog is the next best thing to a child. So we agreed to get a dog, Sierra. Sierra is supposed to be Simon's dog, but uh, I think she's more my dog. She likes to hang out with me. The, the name that we talked about when we were pregnant, we, we, dis we discussed various names for our son or daughter. And the only name we could agree on was Sierra for a girl. And then when our son was born, we had to come up with a different name. So we spent two names, two days in the hospital going over boys' names to come up with Simon. So when we got a dog, we'd already had the name picked out. So our dog is Sierra, and that's the closest thing we'll have to a sibling for Simon. Okay, one thing that is, is maybe different from having, for having Simon is that I was older. I was almost 40 when he was born. And uh, I had a very good job at the University of Guelph, and I asked for an extended leave of absence. Back at that time, we were entitled to about four months vacation, or not vacation, uh, maternity leave. I was given a year's leave of absence, and then I took another couple of months um, unpaid leave to use up my holidays. Of course, I didn't get paid for this whole time. And uh, so I was off for 14 months altogether when Simon was born. And then I went back to work. And there is a policy at the university that you can work 80% time and be paid 80% pay. So after I had been back full time for a few weeks, I asked if I could work 80% time. And yes, that was, that was agreed upon. But still I realized I wanted to be home with Simon. I didn't want to be dropping him off at a sitter and going to work. So I lasted eight months back at my University of Guelph job and then I resigned. So then I became a full-time mom for, uh, for a few more years because that's what I wanted to do. It took me a long time to be a mother, to become a mother, and now I'm very glad that I am a mother.